Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your 2020 Gen 3 and FieldView are not communicating. First off, let's go to the setup button on the 2020. Next, at the top of the screen, we can see this system is on 2020.0.0 software, which is the current software as of this video. In order for the 2020 Gen 3 and FieldView to communicate, you must be at least on 2019.1.0 software or newer. It is best practice to keep the 2020 Gen 3 and FieldView on the current version of software at all times to ensure best communication. Next, let's go to the Diagnose tab on the right-hand side of the screen. On the Diagnose page, we have an FVM on the screen. If there's no FVM on, the, on this screen, continue watching to diagnose that issue. In this case, let's press on the FVM button on the Diagnose screen. This will show the FVM and FieldView status in communication to the 2020. In particular, there are two things we're looking at. First, we have connected to DBM here, which says true. If this says false, the Gen 3 is not connected or communicating to the FieldView module. Secondly, we have FieldView connected, which says true currently. If this says false, while connected to DBM says true, then that indicates that the 2020 is connected and communicating to the FieldView module but not connected or communicating to the FieldView app on the iPad. Next, let's validate hardware connections. These are the hardware components used to connect the FieldView app to the Gen 3 system. First, we have the Display Base Module, or DBM. The DBM has two Ethernet ports on it. In this scenario, we have one Ethernet port going to the Gen 3 display. And the second Ethernet port is connected to our FieldView module, or FVM. First, verify that we have an Ethernet cable plugged into the DBM, and that we have an Ethernet cable running from the DBM into the FVM. The FVM is commonly, lo commonly located behind the iPad in the cab. We can see that the Ethernet cable is properly plugged in and communicating when we have LED lights on either side of the Ethernet port. Next, on the other side of the FieldView module, we have a USB port. This USB port is used to connect to the iPad. Verify that we have a USB Lightning or USB to USB-C cable plugged into this USB port. Next, on the iPad, verify that we have a cable plugged into the iPad from the FVM. When you're verifying this connection, it's also very useful to verify that there's nothing pressing against the cable connection or causing it to lose connectivity intermittently. Thank you for watching this how-to video on diagnosing connectivity issues between the Gen 3 and the FieldView system. If you have further questions, feel free to reach out to your precision planning dealer or precision planning product support.